Hello, this is Staten Island Locals. My name is Emily Casey, and I'm the host and creator of Staten Island Locals. Today, we have someone super special with us. We have our first guest. Say hello to... Me. <laughs> My name is Tom, Thomas Clinton. Uh, I really considered just not talking, just to make it seem like you were insane for a second. But that would have been rude. That's not nice. Uh, maybe I'm not a nice person. So, Thomas. What's up? <laughs> it's, so <laughs> it's so weird. I have never had a guest speaker, so I'm just like, hee hee ha ha, this is so fun. <laughs> um, so, Tom, what do you do? You're a, you're a guy from Staten Island. You're an artist from Staten Island. What do you, what, it, what type of art do you do, Thomas? Yeah, I do happen to be a Staten Island local, name drop, epic. Uh, but, yeah, I am a uh, filmmaker. I'm also a musician, although I don't really have any, like, music that's out yet. I've just been working on it. Uh, I'm mainly a, a film editor, and also I'm, I'm known to run around and, and make a music video or two for people. Yeah, that is so slay. <laughs> so, Thomas. What's up? <laughs> Every time you say what's <laughs> up, it's so silly. Um, Why? Yeah, people people do be know that you uh, make music video. Um, or two. Or two. Specifically two of them. Specifically two. So what was the most recent one you did? The most recent one I did was uh, Dream Girl for The Parallel Lines. My good friend Andrew. Slay. <laughs> um, yeah, so how was that? How how was, how, how was that? The video came out great. Uh, filming it was a nightmare, low key, because um, it was a rainy day out. Uh, we were underneath like a little overpass, the one where um, the band's all dressed up in like black and white, uh, singing on cardboard instruments and stuff like that. It was raining. It was pouring. It was the old man was definitely snoring. Uh, I will tell you that. But there was so much rain, and so cars would be passing by, just splashing me and my camera, and it was rough. Because that camera is not waterproof, but nothing got damaged, and the video came out great. It was it was uh, it was honestly really fun because I didn't have to worry about directing it all too much, uh, because Andy uh, was the director of that one. I just had to shoot and edit it, and it came out awesome. Who's I, Andrew? Andrew McIntyre. He is the lead singer and guitarist, I believe, of uh. Uh, the parallel lines. I know Andrew. I know. Who, I know you know who Andrew is. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that sounds like lots and lots of fun. I'm gonna play that song so you, everybody can hear it. This is the song "Dream Girl" by the Parallel Lines. When you listen to it, just like think of a skeleton on a date with like a man with pink hair. Yeah, do that as you listen, and then do that. <laughs>
was Dream Girl by the Parallel Line. Is, uh, it's one of my favorite songs from them. Yeah, is it? Yeah, I like that song. I also like Burnout. Those are like my top two. Burnout's, Burnout's a good one. Yeah. I recently like started getting into that one a little bit more because I just listened to Black Hole on repeat. Yeah. And then like, yeah, <laughs> that was really loud. <laughs> um, yeah, I just I'm not used to holding a microphone. I just, yeah, I just listened to Black Hole on repeat, and then I um, and then I just I found Burnout, and then I was like, I knew the song existed, but I didn't listen to it. Anyways. Um, now I do. What is, what is, you, you, you said you have two music videos. One was Dream Girl, and what is your other, your other music video that you did? What are you, Steve Carell? Girl? Girl? Material Girl. Material Girl. Um, yeah, the other one was called Deep Enough, also by the Parallel Lines. Um, that one I had full creative control over. I'm not deep enough. I'm not beef enough. Too much beef. Um... That one I had full creative Your control <laughs> over it. I was able to uh, uh, come up with the idea and direct it and shoot it and edit it. And that one was fun because um, I always wanted to do like a paper cutout type of video. But I never wanted to put in the actual effort for it. Uh, <laughs> I can hear ourselves outside <laughs> the room <laughs> from the okay, delay. Fine, fine. Just um, I always want to do a paper cutout music video, but that takes time. You have to print out a bunch of stuff, and you have to cut it out by hand, and then you got to take a billion, million photos. I came up with a technique to where I didn't have to do that, and I was very proud of it. It's it looks really good. Um, a part of me wants to remaster it, but uh, I don't have the raw footage anymore because I need the storage. But yeah, it's like the band is in like a little sketchbook, and they're just like paper cutouts in the book, and they just walk around and and they do a little do a little thing. They go into space, but in a notebook, not in real life. That's so cool, Thomas. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> <laughs> I said that so fake. My <laughs> bad. Uh, no, but I am legitimately. You only got me on here for the clout. Legitimately, thank you for sharing. Um, we're gonna play deep enough so you guys can hear that song too, and then also after the show, cause don't leave the show. Listen to us after the show. You can go look up the music videos for them. So this is deep enough, uh, by the Parallel Lines.
that was deep enough slay um so thomas you're also a music a music man yeah i dabble within the uh piano keys every now and then you go beep boop beep bop beep boop yeah i specifically beep boop beep bop beep boop boop oh oh sorry sorry my bad my bad um <laughs> so you got you got any music coming out uh hopefully i'm still working on it music's tough because um if you want it to sound like really good and professional and like real uh you kind of have to pay money you have to like find someone who knows what they're doing yeah you have to like invest you yeah and i don't know if i'm ready to invest so i'm trying to do it myself but i can't get it to sound like the way i want it to in terms of mixing i'm i'm good with everything else though um, but yeah. yeah, that's why it's taking so long. And then my brain's also like, oh, new song idea, and then I make another song, and then I add it to the album. And the album is 25,000 songs. Uh, exactly that, how'd you know? And then to pay for all those songs to be mixed right costs even 25 billion put trillion, trillion bajillion dollars? Yeah, I mean... That's me too. I, th- I think I might be able to get Jeff Bezos to like help me out. Oh, okay. Yeah, you love Amazon, right? Totally. You're an Amazon lover? Yeah, I love the rainforest. So, we'll hear some songs by you by the end of the... By the time I graduate and not be able to be on this radio station anymore. I'm crying, I'm crying, probably. I'm crying, I'm crying. <laughs> we will have, a s- w- like, probably at least one song by you. Maybe. I would say yes, because that's by May. And if you don't have a song by May, I will come to your house and beat you up. You'd be you'd be insane to to uh find out. You'd go insane figuring out how picky I am with stuff. Oh, I already know. I know. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. We are dating. <laughs> oh, big oh reveal. God, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have my boyfriend on as my first guest because I was scared. Anyways, um <laughs> I'm scared of people uh, same honestly i'm i just started i freaking started stunt on locals and i only know i'm only like besties with one band but now i'm reaching out to everybody and be like, i'm gonna get some people on in the future i got some interviews on interviews lined up with some guys that you probably have heard of anyways and if I you haven't heard of them anyways. you're not a true local for real, they're they're people who've been playing shows around. I just don't want to say who they are right now, but I will have some cool interviews coming up. Anyways, Thomas, it's your turn to pick a song on the show. Oh my it god! It could be any song. It doesn't have to be a Staten Island local song. Any song in the world? Yes, pick one. It's Tell gonna me. take a while for me to think. Hold on. Tell okay, me. I got it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm gonna choose uh, "Love Me When You're Gone" by Whales Talk. Okay, Slay, I'll pick that song. Here it is. <laughs> 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 Bruh, this is Love Me When You're Gone by Whales Talk. They have talking whales. All my conversations start with explanations. Oh, I'm feeling like you overestimate. I know.
Love me when you're gone by Whales Talk. My bad, I kind of forgot. Um, Why are you forgetting my, my music? I'm dropping, I'm dropping it. It's well, not your music. It's Whales Talk. Why are you forgetting talk? the music that I like? You're That's not what a I meant. Whale. That's what Anyways. I meant. I could be a whale. Yeah, but were you a, a whale for Halloween? Epic transition into talking about Halloween. It's not. It's not really a transition when you call it out as a transition. Thomas, what were you for Halloween? I was uh, a Tottenville High School student. <laughs> <laughs> for for one day, yes. For one one of the parties but I went to. You are a Tottenville High School student. I did go there, at one point. How was that, Thomas? In my life. Did you like it? Uh, I really want to say that I like it because, like, I don't want to like trash on Staten Island, but ta- it was it was a place. It's Q A F. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Their colors are purple. That's like girl boss colors. I guess. I mean, the purple was a good color. I did actually like the purple a lot. Um, yeah, it's unique. Honestly, most schools are like red. Yeah, they. It's like a really dark red, or they have like green. Or I see like a lot. Blue, navy blue. No, it's like a bright blue. Some people are navy blue. Who's navy blue? Is it so? Uh, well, I went to Catholic school, and so like, Hill, Villa. St. Joseph by the Sea. I didn't verse any. Oh, wait, St. Joseph. That's not navy blue. They had like a brighter blue, I believe. Aren't they the Vikings? Shouldn't it be? I associate Vikings with purple. Yeah, well, we were the uh, pirates, and we were purple. That's so slay. <laughs> that's like, that's like okay, Tomville is girl boss. Even though I don't know anything about Tomville. I am not from there. Tottenville. Totten slay. <laughs> Tottenville was filled with all the South Shore kids. Yeah, and I wasn't from there. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> Halloween. I, w- I don't want to talk about Tomville. I want to talk about Halloween. <laughs> Anyways, so how was your Halloween? What did you do? I went to parties. I went to them with you. I don't know. I why know. I'm, a- I'm asking. So <laughs> You're asking me questions me. that you know the answers to, but I know it's just to uh, appease the audience. I just want people to know. Um, do you know what I did uh, for Halloween? I watched like some movies because I'm a film major. Throw me under the bus. I'm also a film major. I just didn't watch movies. Wow. Wow. Do you know what I what movie I heard about? Uh, no. Um, Terrifier Two. Did you hear about that one? I did hear about that. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't. Okay. My dad kept reading like reports in the newspaper about it, saying that people were puking and passing out in the theater. Yeah, I was reading about those too. Do you think that that actually happened? I I want to believe that it actually happened. I want to believe too, but I don't think it did. Why not? I think that someone probably like threw up because they had food poisoning from the night before and coincidentally the person next to them passed out because they are like diabetic and like didn't take their insulin or something. <laughs> That's like a crazy accusation. <laughs> I don't know. I don't I <laughs> That's don't like think a crazy movie, theory. I don't think the movie made I didn't Okay, I didn't watch it. So who are you to say? I, okay, I watched, I was going to watch Terrifier 2 so I can come on here and talk about Terrifier 2, but I had to watch Terrifier 1 first, and I, so I went to, so I saw Terrifier 1. How was it? Mm, I'm going to say something else first before I tell you about it. Okay, cool. I was going to (laughs) say, I was going to say, I watched Terrifier, uh, 1. Mm-hmm. And then after, I didn't get to see Terrifier 2 because I took my time watching Terrifier 1. That's what I tried to say. Oh. You know, because I only had time for one movie. Yeah. Even though the next day I watched Hocus Pocus 1 and Hocus Pocus 2. <laughs> but I didn't want to, Terrifier 2 is only in the movie theater. I didn't want to go to a movie theater. No, I thought they put it on streaming yesterday. They said they were trying but to put that it was on. yesterday. Sh- well, uh, you had yesterday I to didn't watch have it. time to watch it yesterday. Mm, that sounds like a skill issue. Anyways, so do you want to know what happened in Terrifier 1? Tell me. Tell me all the beautiful, As glorious As a film things. major, you're probably going to be, you would probably be disappointed watching this because it has no depth to the plot at all. Oh. Spoiler, Terrifier 1 came out in like 2014 or some shit. So if you're getting spoiled by Terrifier 1, joke's on you because you should have watched it. Anyways, 
so what happens in Terrifier 1? It starts off with this girl who has a, like, her face is kind of fucked up. Like, no offense, but her face is, is actually fucked up. That's the plot. And she okay. goes on to a TV show. And she gets interviewed by some bitch. Her, <laughs> it's like, it's supposed to be like, like <laughs> Ellen. Kind oh. of, except the girl's like nasty and it's not like and it's not fun like ellen it's like that one scene from the joker literally literally it's like the you joker. get what you freaking deserve that's what happened wait so, actually so on the show they were civil and she was like the the interviewer is like the attacks it's been a year since the attack how have you been dealing with things and she has all f- her face all fucked up and she's like I've just been isolating in my house. I'm lonely and it's sad. Um, and then the interview's over. And then at the end, and then the, the, what's it called? The interviewer is on the phone in the back and she's like, this ugly bitch. If I looked like that, I would kill myself. And then um, the girl whose face is fucked up, she comes out and she gouges that lady's eyes out. For why? Nobody knows. But then it cuts to present day. I mean, sorry, it's a flashback. It cuts to a <laughs> year ago. And a year ago, and then it shows just the whole progression of basically how the girl got her face fucked up, which is um, by Art the Clown. Art the Clown is a maniac, Thomas. Okay. Are you a clown guy? Uh, Not particularly a fan of clowns, but I'm also not scared of them either. I know. Clowns don't scare me, so I wasn't that scared. So... It comes to, like, these two girls, they're, like, drunk, they're, like, at a Halloween party, and then they're trying to go home, and then the girl is, like, they're drunk, so they're, like, we can't drive home because we're drunk, so they went to go to a pizza place, and Art the Clown is, like, looking at them, like, he, 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 I'm the clown, <laughs> and then he just, like, starts killing everybody. He killed the people in the pizza place, he, the girl had to go to the bathroom, and, uh, he, what's it called, he... He killed her in this abandoned building that had a bathroom, and then he killed the pest control guys in the bathroom in the in the building. And then the girl's sister came to try to sa- to try to find her, to pick her up or whatever, and um, to try to like pick her up or whatever. And the uh, sorry, I just got distracted. I and know. he kills her too. No, the sister is the girl at the beginning with the fucked up face. Alrighty. I just want to let you know the one thing is how she got killed. How how the main girl that one of the main girls get killed. Tell me. I'm sorry. I just ranted so hard. Yeah, it I know. Probably well, wait, really quickly. Did, does like Art have any like motive? No. There's no motive. He's just killing. Yeah. I hate he that. just kills everybody. And then at the and then the, the the sister survives and then she goes on the show in the beginning. And that's the whole thing it's just that's it um yeah but do you want to know how they killed one of the girls how art the clown hung her upside down by her feet and then he cut her in half long ways through her coochie all the way to (laughs) 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 all righty and he cut her in half that way okay are you terrified, Thomas? I'm just. What if that happened to you? Well, I'm curious as to like why in that method. That seems a little because he tied the other girl up, so the other girl watched. But again, but like, what's his motive? Exactly, exactly. He cut off some guy's head, the one of the pizza guys, and oh my god, the pizza guy. He was such like a classic Staten Island like pizza pizza like dude. Love that. He was like, "Hey, yo, get your pizza." <laughs> and then and then clown and then art cut his head off and then put uh, candles in his eyes and lit the candles on fire and so he had the candles that's pretty in cool. his eyeballs. That's pretty cool. I mean, I don't know. I just don't do horror, so like I'm probably never gonna see this movie. I don't want to form my opinion around what you're telling me because for all I know, you're just like biased and like you want to see the world burn. You just want to say bad things about a good movie, but you know, I, just <laughs> I was just. I just I, I just rambled on about that movie. I didn't even yeah. I just spoiled it with no takes on it. Yeah. But what I'm saying is that I'm assuming I I read an article actually saying that Terrifier 2 also has no deaths. 
this in the same way where art the clown has no motives and whatever i mean i i wouldn't be surprised if the movies were were made uh because of um like a shock value you know just trying to uh because what i've heard like it gets really bad and really gory and stuff like that um and they probably just made the uh film with the idea of like these really cool and sick and twisted deaths that like you see everything and it's like crazy but then didn't think about how like a story can connect to that which is something that a lot of people have done before i have done films where i think of an idea but i don't flesh out the story enough i think there was also hot take a little transphobia a little bit oh. in it i don't know art the art the clown he cut off on the character's boobs and like wore them and he wore a wig at one point just to scare one of the girls i don't know this just feels wrong that just feels like offensive to me somehow i don't know anyways i don't really talk want to talk about this movie anymore um <laughs> I, i'm just telling i'm just saying this movie it was kind of i don't know was it scary I did not get scared. My mom got scared. Oh. My mom also gets scared at, like, not scary things. No offense, my mom, if she's <laughs> listening. My mom, like, will watch something, and, like, some character will just, like, walk in the frame, and she'll go, ah! My mom's kind of the same way. Shout like, out to mom. I think you're listening. Hey, moms. We Thank you for moms. making chicken cutlets tonight. That was, that was pretty cool of you. We love moms. <laughs> mom. Mom. But, yeah, my, mo- my mom don't like horror either. No. No. Dang. Uh, I think she watched the new Hellraiser, though. She said it wasn't good. I thought she said she liked it. Wait, who said the new Hellraiser wasn't good then? Oh, maybe she liked the. Maybe she didn't like it, and she liked the original one. I think she liked the original ones. I don't think she liked the new one. Yeah, probably that, right. That makes a lot more sense. Anyways, uh, I think it's time for a song. Song time. Yes. I'm gonna play. Um. Rips Me Down by Mind Your Own. So here it goes.
sticking up to my heart it feels like a burn like a sting like a knife to my heart we are back Woo! okay so next thing we're gonna talk about thomas thomas went to tottenville yeah thomas. circling back yeah, circling back to Tottenville. Thomas, what would you happen if what happened at Tottenville happened at when you were there? Okay, so for those who don't know, uh, recently, this is not like good news, this is sad news. Recently, there was a, uh, a shooting right outside Tottenville High School. It was like near the front of the school, which is not what I thought. I thought it was a little bit away from the school. But yeah, um, there was a little bit of a shootout and a 14-year-old kid got hurt. And I actually have no idea what I would have done in that kind of situation. That sounds crazy. It's insane because, like, especially for that down south, like, s- like stuff doesn't <laughs> usually happen. South. Down south, I know. <laughs> On the south shore, stuff really doesn't <laughs> happen all too much there. The most you get is, like, someone smoking weed or doing a drug or two. Yeah, it's mostly drugs. It's literally south mainly is drugs. drugs. There's yeah. not, North Shore has more, like. Oh, wait, wh- drugs and speeding. 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 Wow. Screw those speed cameras. <laughs> but um, but yeah, like all a lot of the more like crimier crime <laughs> happens mm-hmm. more North Shore. Yeah. Um, just because there's actual like businesses, like South Shore doesn't is like more houses. Yeah. So that's why it's more suburbs. Um. But yeah, I I forgot what I was gonna transition that into. <laughs> I actually forgot what we were going to transition it to either. I was going to transition it, it was something. to something. It was like That's something really good. S- it's really sad, though. Rip, rip! I forgot my transition. <laughs> um, that's that's also sad. Not as sad as the boy getting shot in the ankle. Oh, I was just going to talk about fucking crime still. Because, like, homelessness is bad, obviously. But Staten Island does not have that many homeless people on it. No. Not at all. And last night I was walking home, and it wasn't even that late. Mm-hmm. It was six o'clock, and usually I walk home at like eleven. Like eleven is completely that's that's late, right? Six o'clock is like not late compared to that. And when I got off the bus, there was a guy, um, who was he was a homeless guy, and he started like yelling at me, and I was like, "Bruh, not on my Staten Island." Like I expect that from Manhattan. Yeah. But like when I once I get on the bus on my commute, then I feel safe because th- I take the express bus home. So once I f- get on the bus, I feel safe my rest of my commute. And mm-hmm. now I got off the bus, and there was a homeless guy by my bus stop, and he was yelling at me. And then um, I just kept fucking walking so I can get away. And then I ca- I walked a few blocks away, and there was another homeless guy who started walking directly at me. And I was like, oh my god, please stop, please stop. And, like, you can just, you, you, like, I could tell that they were homeless people by, like, based on, like, they had, like, all their stuff with them mm. and all that. And I just, I feel bad about that type of stuff. Yeah. But you, that's how you can tell that crime on Staten Island is, like, actually becoming a thing now. Like, like, obviously there was crime before, but it's less, like, in your face. Well, there was crime before, but it wasn't, like, as frequent. Yeah, it was like, spaced out. The frequency is, is getting like higher and higher. It's happening more frequently and frequently, especially like shootings a little bit. Oh yeah, guns, guns, and just I mean, Great Kills, Great Kills ch- uh, train station. That always had fucking yeah. crazy shit going on. My friend told me that once his friend was just standing waiting for the train, and some guy like walked past and injected him with uh, uh, I forgot what it was. I think Wait, it was like ketamine. With, with a f- with like a needle? Yeah, you just someone would just walk past and inject him with ketamine. Wha- and then he had to go to the hospital. That happened a while ago. Yeah. But yeah, so exactly, it that's, happened a while ago. But that's like <laughs> Wait, that's still so just bizarre. Like I know that's what I'm saying. What is it? What 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 has it in you just to like take a syringe and just like stab a like a completely like random person? What 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 does it take for you to shoot someone in the ankle in front of Tottenville High School? Yeah, it's I don't I'll, I'll never understand it, but like, woo. But um, Staten Island always seemed like the like a place where crime did happen, but it wasn't so much in your face as it is now. Yeah. Um. Apparently, Pete Davidson loves to do crime. Have you seen The King of Staten Island? <laughs> 
<laughs> I hate that movie. You know, Jeff Wittick, he loves to do crime. <laughs> I love Jeff. Disclaimer, I love Jeff Wittick. He is my favorite YouTuber, podcast guy. I haven't really been watching him. He did. He filmed something I like when school. he cuts hair. He filmed something near uh, our school recently. I already told you about Jeff. that. Jeff. With Tana, Tana, I don't know how to pronounce Tana her last Mojo. name. Tana Mojo. Is that actually pronounce her last I name? I don't know. I call her Tana Mojo. It's like. <laughs> they, they're they like, I think they like fake got married and shit. Yeah. She got fake got married to like five people. It's content, baby. Jake Paul. I like it's content, how baby. Logan Paul is on the WWE and it makes me happy. I don't know. It just seems like he belongs there. I mean, Logan. Did I say Logan Paul? Yes, you said Logan. Okay, Logan Paul's on WWE, and it just makes sense. I saw him. I saw. I watched him do a match on there, and I was like, damn. There he goes. I, I kind of don't want to give my opinion on content creators as a content creator myself. Suicide to WWE. Let's go. What? Because he took the video of the guy. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> 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 How did we get here? <laughs> uh, I mean, do you know what was suicide? What? Ned cheating on his wife. <laughs> 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 what a freak! These are these are great transitions. Thanks. Um, no, this is actually still relevant because, like, I'm a YouTuber and I'm, like, caught up within, like, the YouTube space and stuff like that. But, like, the Try Guys, man, they were so wholesome. And then you got the one guy. I, You know how we love Applebee's? Yes. I watched last night. Keith, Keith eats everything from Applebee's. Applebee's. I watched that video, too. <laughs> I watched that video while eating Applebee's. I, I think he had some interesting takes. The thing is that. I agree with him based on the fact that it was all takeout. If he was in the restaurant, every single e- thing he ordered would have been bussin'. A- exactly. There's a big difference between taking out stuff and eating in Applebee's the restaurant. Applebee's in the restaurant can, is bussin'. Here's the thing. When you're eating everything off a menu at a restaurant, um, it's it's different than, like, fast food. Because fast food's meant to be takeout. But if you, like, order to go from, like, a nice restaurant, you're not going to get the top quality. It's going to be sitting in a container with humidity, getting all, all, all uh, what's it called, condensation on it and stuff like that. So it's going to be moist. It's going to be very, very, very moist. And uh, it's not going to taste as good because it's going to be all soggy and stuff. And you know this from experience because you love takeout Applebee's. I do. I still eat it because I like it. Apple beep. I'm a trash food person. Apple I like eating beep. trash food. Although um, I've, been, I've been getting into grilled chicken more. Grilled chicken's Slay. good. Um, I was just going to say that, uh, so we don't run out of time, I want to just real quick tell all the upcoming announcements for shit. Shoot your shot. You got it. I okay. believe in you. You can do these announcements. These are the announcements, guys. These are the announcements. Wait, hold on. Let, well, let me hype you up. You got this. Okay. These are the announcements. Woo! So on the radio show schedule, right, you can check this all out on our website, E-K-M-E-M-K-C dot com slash dot on locals. Locals. Let's get you it. Can, you, can, you can check it all out there. Um, <laughs> today, I'm going to beat you up. <laughs> today, we got Thomas Clinton. It's on the website. Uh, next week, we have Ben Sat. Love that guy. My bestie. I'm going to beat you up. Let me be your hype man. No. Ben Sat, he is so epic. He is so cool. I love him. He's a cartoonist. He'll talk about his art. The next week after that, we're going to play all girl bands, all girl Staten Island bands. Slay. And Thomas, <laughs> I'm going to beat you up. <laughs> and we're going to have a uh, guest, uh, Victoria Reimer. She is my bestie. She is the lead singer of a band that we're both in. We don't have any music out, sadly. But she has a single out, so we're going to play her music, and we're going to play all girl bands, as I just said. Um, uh, some upcoming Staten Island shows that you can go to on November 4th, this Friday, I'm pretty sure, um, is going to be the first day of Battle of the Bands that takes place at Flagship Brewery. There's going to be, uh, Figurehead is going to play and The Telling Time. They're going to verse each other, Figurehead versus The Telling Time. It's going to be so epic and then also i'll just 
list the Battle of the Bands dates. The next one is November 11th. It's going to be Vega Maestro versus Super Future. And then the next one is November 18th, um, which is going to be the Goddamn Rex versus Pastel. November 25th, Wayward Strangers versus the Gamagools. I like saying them like that. Gamagools. And then the semifinals will be um, December 2nd and December 9th. And then the final final battle is going to be on December 16th. So there's a poster up on the website for you to see. Also, it's on Instagram. If you look at our Instagram, we have a poster section. But yeah, go see Figurehead and Telling Time. It's going to be so fun and cool. Another uh, 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 show that's going to happen is on November 5th at the Hop Shop. Um, you can go see Specialists and Goon Dads. Goon Dads are super cool. And Specialists are obviously also super cool. I just um, never heard Goon Dads before and... I played their song at the beginning. Very fun. Um, and yeah, uh, November 11th at Flagship Brewery, um, Super Future is going to play. Oh, that's just the same. Okay, that, that Super Future show is literally just Battle of the Bands. My bad. I just didn't notice till now for no reason. Um, so... Yeah, go check out those two shows, those three shows, Battle of the Bands 1, 2, and the Specials and Good Dads at Hop Shop on the 5th. Um, it's going to be fun. Thomas, do you have anything to say about these things? Cool. Okay. <laughs> 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 Wait, I think I also have one more show to say, uh, but I just need to bring up my calendar. Oh, yeah, on the 12th. Uh, Silkstone is going to be playing at Mother Pugs. I don't know who else is playing with them, but maybe... People, people will probably be playing with I them. Maybe I might be filming them play. Maybe. <gasps> what? Maybe, maybe, Oh, maybe. my God. Yeah. I'm going to play a song. I think it's song time. I'm going to play Head in My Hand by Specialists because their show is... This weekend, and you should go see them. So here is Head in My Hand by Specialist.
Every time I tap the microphone, you can hear my ring. Yeah, I know. And it's like, you just, you just. I know, it's annoying. Because, like, I'll go to, like, put the mics on. So yeah, and then you just hear something it. Th- when the song is still going, and then we always hear it because of you. Just it's okay, though. And stuff. It's okay, though. Now I know what to tell people not to do mm, for next guests. Yeah. So, yeah, we got we don't have a lot of time left. We have literally probably 30 seconds to talk. Um, Thank you, Thomas, for being on the show. Thanks for having me. It was so fun. I'm so happy that you got to be on. And, um, yeah, follow Staten Island Locals on Instagram at Staten Island Locals. We also have a Twitter now at SI Locals. We also have... I don't know our the our fucking blog mkc.com slash that on locals just everything is just to connected to our Instagram so go find you also that. you post these after on your YouTube yeah I post all these after so if you miss part of it you can listen to it if you're listening to it now on after hi thank you for listening um and yeah I uh, have any last s- one sentence one sentence to bring it to the end youtube.com slash that guy who games wow a shameless plug follow thomas. always gotta do the same shameless plug follow thomas on instagram at thomas dot the dot clinton uh and yeah thank you so much for coming we're gonna play one more song we're gonna play uh tantrum by king like mom it is their first song they just that is on spotify it just came out and uh, here it is. Thank you all for watching. I, I mean, listening.
Yeah!